video, we are going to solve real-life problems involving trigonometric identities. But before that, let us have a review on what is Sokotoa. What is Sokotoa? Sokotoa is a helpful mnemonic for remembering the definitions of the trigonomet trigonometric functions, which is sine, cosine, and tangent. If the side adjacent to the angle and hypotenuse are given, or the O and the H are given, we are going to use sine function. If the side adjacent to the angle and hypotenuse are given, or the A and the H are given, we are going to use the cosine function. If the side opposite the angle and the side adjacent to the same angle are given, you are going to use tangent function if O and A are given. Now, for the, ne for the other three trigonometric functions, cosecant, secant, and cotangent, just get the reciprocal of sine, cosine, and tangent respectively. Now, let us solve a word problem. On a windy day with a temperature of 3 degrees Celsius or 86 in Fahrenheit, an intelligent perfectionist and a wannabe scientist who's 6,500 days old or turning 18, 5 foot 8 in height, decided to take a walk outside because he's bored. We are all bored. I know. When he suddenly noticed something, he forgot to wear his mask, so he went back home to get them. Yet, he forgot another thing. He forgot to get his uh, face shield, so he went back home again to get it. After a while, the wannabe scientist saw a cat stuck on top of a tree. And the girl who seems to be the owner is crying because she doesn't know what to do. Without any sign of hesitation, he took the liberty of helping the girl. He said that he stand, he's standing roughly 10 feet away from the tree. Furthermore, he also measured the angle of elevation from his horizontal line of sight with incredible precision, from degrees all the way down to seconds, which is 24 degrees, 40 mi 45 minutes, and 37 seconds. He then quickly knew that the height of the cat from the ground is about 10.18 feet. For some of you are wondering how did he come up with that, here's how. First, we need to illustrate the given facts. A tree, a cat, the man, and he's roughly 10.5 feet away from the base of the tree. His li uh, line of uh, angle of elevation from the his li horizontal line of sight, with, uh, which is 24 degrees and 45 minutes and 37 seconds, but since we are not perfect, we are going to put, this, put that as 24.76 degrees. Next, his eyes, uh, his, the height of his eyes away from the ground is roughly 5 feet and 4 inches. And we are going to use this triangle for illustration. Now that we have our triangle, since we know the measure of the angle, which is 24.76 degrees, and the adjacent, which is 10.5 degrees, I mean 10.5 feet, 10 feet, we are now going to solve for the opposite there. We're going to solve for the opposite. What are we going to use? Yes, we are going to use the tangent function which is tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. It is just a matter of substitution. Now, after we substitute, we're going to have tangent 24.76 degrees is equal to opposite over 10.5. Next, after we get the tangent of, uh, tangent of the angle, we're going to get 0 0.4612 is equal to opposite over 10.5. Next, we're going to multiply 10.5 to each side, and we're going to get opposite is equal to 0 0.4612 multiplied to 10.5 in order to get our opposite. 
after multiplying, we now have 4.84 as our opposite. Now that we have our opposite, um, we just uh, recalling a while ago that the line of our sight is 5 feet and 4 inches or the height of our eyes away from the ground. We are going to convert that into feet now, which is now 5.33 feet. <coughs> Next, we're going to add that to our opposite, which is 4.84 feet. And that is equals to 10.18 feet. And that is now the height of the cat away from the ground. Now that we know the height of the cat away from the ground, the ladder, one, I mean, the man or the, one of the scientists wanted to know how long of a ladder he would use. There's the G, there's the cat, there's the ladder. He wanted to know what or how long of a ladder he would use. Knowing Pythagoras' theorem, he immediately calculates that a ladder of at least 10.37 feet long should be enough to get the poor thing. Here's the solution. There's the line. Pythagoras' theorem states that the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, or in familiar algebraic, express, uh, algebraic notation, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Next, we now have a, b, and c. a being 2 feet, which is the uh, which is the length of the, the base of the ladder away from the base of the tree. Next is B, which is 10.18 feet or the height of the cat away from the ground. And C, which is the length or how long will he use? How long of a ladder will he use? We're going to solve that. It's just a matter of substitution. A being 2 feet. B being 10.18 feet. After substitu uh, substituting, we now get 2 squared plus 10.18 squared is equal to C squared. Next, solving that, we are now going to have 4 plus 103.63 is equal to C squared. After adding that, we are going to get 107.63. Now, we are going to square both sides. We are going to get the square root of both sides. When we are going to get 10.37 as our C, and that is how long of a ladder he will use, just like he said. Next, but where will he get such ladder? For whatever reason, how it happened, it's left unstated. It just it's like the ladder appeared right in front of his eyes like magic. After a while, he got the cat out of the tree, he got the cat down. Then the little girl thanked him, thanked the one of the scientists, and said that he's a good part. He's a good person. Suddenly, he remembered something because of what the girl said. Before we end, did you know that you can derive three fundamental identities from Pythagoras' theorem? Here's how. Start with a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Then, divide each term by a squared and factor out the exponent. Here, you'll see that a divided by a is equal to 1. And b divided by a is the same as opposite divided by adjacent. That is the tangent function. Also, c over a is the same as hypotenuse over adjacent. That is the reciprocal of the cosine function which is second. Next, simplifying further, we are, we get that 1 plus the square of tangent, uh, square of tangent sec theta is equals to the square of second theta. Next, the time, uh, this time, we are going to divide each term to b squared. Factor out the, uh, let us factor out the exponent. And here, 
here you will notice that a, o a over B is the same as adjacent over, hy over opposite. Uh, that is the reciprocal of tangent function, which is cotangent. B over B is equals to 1. And of course, C over B is the same as hypotenuse over opposite, or the reciprocal of sine function, which is cosecant. Simplifying further, there you go. Simplifying further, and we get that 1 plus the square of cotangent theta is equals to the square of cosecant theta. Next, finally, this time, we are going to divide each term by c squared. There. Same procedure, a over c is the same as adjacent over hypotenuse or the cosine function, and b over c is the same as opposite over hypotenuse or the sine function, while c over c cancels out to be 1. There. C, uh, simplifying further, and we get that the square of cosine theta plus the square of sine theta is equals to 1. There you have it. The three funda fundamental identities, and these are known to be as Pythagorean, I Pythagorean identities. Next. To sum it all up, Sokoto is a very helpful mnemonic for remembering the basic trigonometric identities or the trigonometric functions. Sine theta equals opposite divided by hypotenuse. Cosine theta is equals to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And tangent theta equals to opposite divided by adjacent. And for other three trigonometric functions, cosecant, secant, and cotangent, just get the reciprocal of the sine, cosine, and tangent respectively. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a great day.